What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a pennies haul. It's been so long since I've showed you stuff from pennies. So I have just a ton of different things that I've picked up over the last while. It's probably gonna be like a quick little video. I don't know if there's that much in this but I just said I'd show you all in one video. Did a video featuring this makeup look and also kind of like an update on my life and kind of where I've been at and what the hell's going on. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it somewhere here or you can just go and watch my previous video. I got these pair of waxy jeans. I mean, they're in pennies everywhere. I got them in like a really nice dark brown color. They were absolutely gorgeous, like a really nice deep chocolate and I bought them in a size 8 and they don't fit so I had to go and get the size 6 in this kind of like creamy colour, creamy grey colour. They did not have the brown in my size and I was raging because they're just so nice but this is what they look like. They're just really nice fit and they're a skinny leg. I'm kind of veering away from skinny jeans lately but I just saw these. I liked the colour, I liked the material and I just fell in love with them. The second thing I got was these pair of, they were 15 euro by the way. I got a pair of these trousers. So these are kind of like a mauve color. They were 17 euro and, oh they're described as taupe. So they're a taupe color. They are like a jean, like a, not a jean, what would you call them? They're like a, a trouser. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me? With the leather. And they are obviously faux leather. They are the warmest things I've ever felt. Like the inside of them is kind of like lined or it's thick. I don't know what the story is with them. But these are super, super warm. And when I tried these on, I was like, when the colder weather comes in, these are going to be a staple for me because they're just so warm. Well, it's been stylish. They're kind of a straight leg. They're not wide at the bottom or anything like that. I have tried these on and I am five foot four and there goes the doorbell. I'm five foot four and they just hit the top of my shoes. So I would like with a little bit like kind of going over the shoe. So I would say if you're taller than five, six, these pants may come up a little bit short on you. Just an FYI if you are purchasing them, but I'm sure you'll probably try them on. I mean, dressing rooms are open now in pennies anyway. I picked up this really nice sparkly number. I am dying to get that shimmery, sparkly top from Zara, but it's out of stock. And every single time that it comes back into stock, like I have a notica notification for it, like I go on the website and it's gone out of stock again. It must be like they get one unit back. But I thought that this might be a nice little dupe. Now I did try this on and I'm not really overly sure about it because it's that sequiny kind of material. It kind of itches a little bit. So I feel like if I wore this on a night out, I would just be itching. Even though it's lined on the inside, I just feel like it's a little bit itchy for me. It fits really nice and it looks really nice on. And I just really think it'd be nice for Christmas time and if I was going out for dinner or something like that, but I just, I'm not sure about like the feel of it. We'll see, we'll see. I also picked up this phone case. They have phone cases now in pennies, as you guys know, like for years, but they never have the iPhone 11 and this was only 250 and I got it in this marble effect. Not as into marble as it used to be, but I just saw it and I thought it was nice. My other one is a bit dirty, so that's clean. I just used this duo glue today, so that's why it's opened, but I always pick up a duo glue. And is it just me, but has duo glue changed? Like it used to be like, you could peel it off. Now it's gone like sticky. Like it's almost like it sticks your eyelashes together. I don't know, they've reformulated it. It says new on it, but I mean, it must be a new formula. The packaging is slightly different as well. It's just not as good as it used to be. So I think I'm gonna have to get a different eyelash adhesive because that one is just too sticky. And like I said, it sticks my eyelashes together, my natural lashes, and that is just not cute. I picked up this jacket, shacket, and I showed this on TikTok. I absolutely love this. At first I wasn't really sure about it because I was like, is it too oversized? And it's like a denim shacket and it's cream. And it's just so nice on. Like, I got it in a size 10. It was, it was the only size available in my local penny. So I just picked it up. It is so nice on and it really is very warm. And I just really like the style of it. It was 50. Euro, I believe. It's really affordable and it's quite a thick material as well. So next up from Penny's, I picked up these linen, type of linen trousers. I literally, kid you not, I went to four, four different Penny's. Noah and I always have like a little morning outing, like we'll go to like Blanche or Liffey Valley or we'll just go somewhere like one morning a week. I went to Liffey Valley Penny's, Blanchetown Penny's, Mary Street pennies and O'Connell Street pennies. Like I went to four pennies to get these pants. I saw them 
in Liffey Valley Pennies and I was with Paddy's mum and I was like, oh my God, they're so nice. So I tried them on. They only had a four and an eight. Could I find a six? No, couldn't find them anywhere. So I eventually found them in Mary Street Pennies and they are just the nicest pants ever. I don't know why I like these so much. It's not even like my style really, but I just fell in love with them. And they're like a linen light mix. They're long baggy trousers and they are like a suit pants type trousers, but they're really light, they're really wearable. I feel like I could lounge around the house in these. So fourth time the charm, I eventually picked these up. I just really like them. They have like this tortoise shell button as well on them and they're just super comfortable. They've an elasticated waist and I just thought maybe even next year they'd be nice for work or whatever. But I just, I just, I fell in love with them. I don't know why. This is a really random purchase for me. I don't generally buy Penny's hoodies. I just haven't had good luck with them, but I just really liked the color of this one. So this is a light brown hoodie. It's a zip up. So it just looks like this. It's a very plain hoodie. It cost eight euro. If I didn't say that those pants cost 15 euro as well, but it's just a really simple hoodie. Nothing really else to say about it. I bought it in a medium because I wanted it kind of oversized. It's really soft on the inside. I don't know if this is going to wash well because like I said I haven't had the best experience with Penny's hoodies in the last few years but hopefully they've kind of like made them a little bit better quality. And the last few things I got for myself were these ribbed material like the what you call them seamless clothes from Penny's. Obviously they're like the dupe of the Zara ones. So I got this long sleeve one in a mocha color. They're so nice. Like I am wearing one today, a pink one that I've had for ages and that just washes really well. It wears really well. It's super supportive as well. And they're just really nice. Like you don't need to wear like a bra or anything with them. They're just really nice. So I couldn't get any of the leggings. They'd none of the leggings and they came out I want to say like during the week and not one Penny's had leggings. Like I said, I took four different trips to Penny's this week trying to find those trousers. So I did have a look at the seamless and they didn't have any of the, the leggings in any of the Penny's. Not Mary Street, not O'Connell Street, not Blanche, nowhere. But I did get the long sleeve top, like I said, that was six euro. And then I also got the green. I really liked this color. It's like a really dark forest green. I absolutely loved this. And they're four euro. Like I said, I'm wearing a pink one now when I have it in blue. I have it in cream. I have it in the green now. And then I also purchased a black one as well because I just get so much wear out of them. So it's just a basic kind of black top, but I'm telling you the material in these and just how it fits on your body. It, they just feel really, really, really good. They're very soft and they wash incredibly well. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for the leggings. Might come into Blanche eventually, they might not, who knows. And then I just picked up a couple of things for Noah for the first thing I picked up for him was just some vests and they've got Winnie the Pooh on them and I just, he needed new vests. He's grown out of vests, like I don't know what. And they're in six to nine months. Like, can you believe my baby is six months already? Like, it just makes me so sad. And then also, the Late Late Toy Show, big deal over here in Ireland. It's a toy show that's on every single year, normally like the last week in November. And like all the little kitties stay up really late. It's on a half nine to watch the toy show. And they always have like music on it and entertainment. And it's just a really big deal. They always have a theme on it. Like two years ago, it was under the sea I think or was it the greatest showman or last year was under the sea I can't remember but they have themes in it every year and then they talk about like the most popular toys and then they you know they get little kids to explain the toys and stuff like it's not like adults talking about toys it's kids who've had these had time to play with these toys and they talk about it. it's just a really big deal here in Ireland like it's been on as long as I'm alive and probably longer and I love it but I got Noah a baby grow that says do not disturb during the RT late late toy show and it just has the little signature owl and the moon on it. It is just so cute. Even if he doesn't wear it because he's probably going to be in bed by the time it's on. It's just for nostalgia and it came with a bib as well and I just want to keep it up forever because Noah's never going to be a baby watching the toy show ever again. So I had to get that, like it's just a necessity. And then I rang Lisa cause she just had a little boy, he's seven weeks old and I was like, oh my God, you have to get this for Theo cause they'd none in his size in the pennies that I went into, they were air, like gone. Like I found that on a random rail, it was just meant to be. So guys, that is all the penny stuff for all the other like misguided H&M, 
pretty little things. I will have a video of that coming up soon. So I hope you enjoyed that pennies haul. It was just like a quick little one, but I had to show you all the little bits and pieces that I picked up from there because I feel like there's been a lot over the last few weeks. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the pennies haul and I will talk to all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.